Catherine the Great, 2019, Episode 1, shouting, coughing, God, this way, Your Majesty, do you know who I am? Do you know who you are? Ruler chains cranking. So I weakly, I am Lord of all Russia, cousin of Emperor Peter. Chains clanking. You stole the crown from him. You should give it back. Chain rattles. All morning I heard birds singing in my brain. Great honour. What is it? A Vancey is paying us a visit in Strasbourg. Prisoner number one. Obviously summoned. Very important. Heard rumours. Obviously. Don't listen to rumours. Guard your majesty. Gate opens and closes. Thank you. Seen enough. I'm lieutenant. Lieutenant will take you back to the boat. I see you before. I see you before, your majesty. Lieutenant Minshaw off. The guards here. Yes, you made a request for money in my office several times. You told me to, you to, uh, you told, uh, we told you to stop. I'm sorry I'm if I offended you, your majesty. But I assure you, if never, my, it's a mistake to ask rich people for money. How do you think they got rich? By giving it away, your majesty. Do you have point, did you appoint Lord Lieutenant Weatheridge to guard prisoner number one? I'm not sure I was responsible for his appointment, Your Majesty Catherine. I don't trust him. Penning, Your Majesty, I've been looking at your speech on, on pages 12 and 13. I have made some revisions. Revisions? This is speech, my speech, Mr. Payne, not yours. I've been working on this for years. I know, I know you know how important it is to me. I know I feel, Your Majesty, is that some of it, as some of it, too liberal. Catherine, I'll be the judge of that. What, what would Your Majesty like me to do with these? Well, I can think of a place I'd like to put it. But I'm not minded. I am not minded to be vulgar. So give it back to Minister Payne. Maybe he can nibble on it for his tea. He's always been good at eating his own words, Payne. Yes, Your Majesty, he's cut all off. Sighs, don't you remember that young man? Hmm, Lieutenant Pemberkin. He's one of us. On the day of the queue, where we took your husband from the throne, Peter allowed him to be transposed like a child being put out of bed, put to bed. Told you, she eats men alive. You know, that sounds like an interesting position. Let's listen, Catherine. When I first came here from Germany many years ago, I couldn't even speak the language. I had little knowledge of the beauties of the Russian church, but even less of the courage and strength of its people. But I fell in love with this country, its spirit, its passion, its soul. But in these more enlightened times, I believe we need laws. Everyone respects and obeys the rich and powerful, as well as the poor these proposed. So, something needs to change. Slavery does not have to be a Russian institution. Crown murders. It don't. It didn't go down well. I'm afraid I tried to warn your mother. Audiences here own serfs. Most of them have have thousands. Russia's not ready to change. It is a right for rich men to own another human being, which is still the case in this country. Look at Olaf, the man who put her on the throne. Now wants some of it for himself. Marmin continues. I believe in reason. I believe in progress. And then in the donable. When the indomitable Russian people fight for these things, and fight to gain new empire, which they will be universally acknowledged, then Russia, your Russia, my Russia, our Russia, will be truly and eternally really great. Crowd clamours. Pelin, she's got, she's got it out, out to that one. Patriotism, always good. She helped her get rid of her husband, Peter the Third. Correct. Now she thinks she can do what she likes. But does she have a right to throne? What did you, what did you get what did you what did you get out of it? And what are you saying? Mokovich means he's a sub server. Now suppose there was a man with a jit with claim to be Emperor of Russia. I believe that man is a prisoner at Stokesburg. So I don't see his prison arms. Gregory Odolov. Well, you didn't seem to enjoy that very much, did they? Catherine, not so much, my son. Came later. Come later and look bored. Yolif? Olaf. Yes, well, he wants your job, doesn't he, Catherine? You took the throne. He took the throne, so... So he, he, he took the throne, so we can take it back, take it from her. That's what they think. They're not going to get rid of... Get them not to do that. We're not going to get them to do that. The army remains loyal to us. Catherine, why was Mother Rich outside causing trouble? 
I told you, you cannot be trusted. Pain, I honestly have no idea what this is. And you see that it makes him potentially a risk. The father is a very important person he's guarding. Oh well, it's a close one, the statement. Well, if you say you don't know, you do, don't, you don't know. But my son must never be told about this. Of course not, Your Majesty. It's between you and I. And let, you make, let us make sure it stays that way. May I make a suggestion? I'm afraid since the coop, the position is vulnerable, and any man, whether ever mad, even with a distant claim to the throne, a great risk. Therefore, I can I suggest that, that an order, the state clearly, if there is, if there is any attempt to escape, prisoner number one is to be killed. I know it goes against your liberal principles, but it comes from me. I had no idea. I had no idea it was in, in place. That it's for your protect, own protection. We can't risk a challenge to your throne. The voice is possibility. As the old is married, therefore I suppose marriage is a few weeks older. Countess, Countess Bruce chuckles. Volatile, oh, you're thinking, working, hmm. Just past Count Olaf in a corridor, looking glum. Oh, my, my fault, I suppose, men, men. Sighs, what are you look doing? I think you're wasting your time. If, if that was all right. Clamouring, dog barks, crapping inside your majesty. What about, what about the girls, college? Yes. Yes, that's done. It's, it's proved. I can't ink you approved. Princess Bruce. Bruce. Don't mind me. You're the most imperial. Don't worry, I won't. Your majesty, the Turkish ambassador has been, had a, sent a strong note to us. So he's strained to the poetry, fire death, and wealth of valour. Say, absolutely no notice. Of course, your majesty. Auntie, isn't the Christian supposed to turn the other cheek? Maybe when people were trying to kill him. Oh, your majesty, Peter. Still dead? Afraid so. I came to tell you I saw the most gorgeous man I oh, Where? In the courtyard. Round the corner. Is he hit there? Still there? Oh, he may have been snapped up. Oh, there's always another gorgeous man around the corner. How long have you got? Long enough. Princess Bruce giggles, laughing, Catherine. That's the tenant puzzled me. Princess Bruce's face. I saw him first, Catherine. I don't think that's strictly true. Anyway, how is the Princess of Russia? Who is the Princess of Russia? You are, Your Majesty. I think we should inspect him more closely. Lieutenant Polodo, Min, you are you lost? I was once, Your Majesty, not now. What are you looking for? The officer of the Republic's guard, the gentleman in the trade chamber, Greggy Podomin. It was you, Your Majesty. Your, it was you, Your Majesty. You well, here I am. Our regiment said, I have to report to your private office. Promised to Innswell as a ride, Your Majesty. Have to go, Innswell. Being a doctor that insuculates. Insuculates. Insuculates against such smallpox. Well, you're very well informed, yes. I guess I'm thinking of trying it. It's a risk, but then there's life at risk, isn't it? From what I heard, the evidence supports your choice. I enjoy speaking with you again. But now, as usual, I'm busy. Countess Bruce was soon see look after you. But by a gave record Christine Catherine chuckles crisis. Lieutenant Pullerman. Olaf, what about him? You're right. He was a day in the coop. When I rode in the front of the troops, he bent down, picked up something. I dropped he did a sword note. For your saber, Catherine chuckling. Yes, he obviously has a talent for picking up things, chuckles. Should have invited him to dinner. Have you ever not complete objection to that? How could I? Not if we were married, is it? Don't let's have this conversation again. I've had it so many times, you know it's possible. Not asking to marry you. Well, what are you asking for then? Recognition, gratitude for what we did for you. You know, you know, you have that. But in public, public and private are two completely different things. Your life is lived in public, thanks to you, Olaf. That wasn't the deal. I can't do this, I'm sorry. I can't. Soldiers clamouring, horses winning, winds. Soldiers shouting, both panting, moaning. Moaning continues, Elf, Elia of Earth. And my big brother, do you mind? Can I not have a little romance? Oh, what's, it, what's this? What do you think I get at home, Alexa? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sighs. Or if I just be not a very moment. How's it going with her? Well, she's not the most exciting girl. Screwed and laughs. With her, is that any business of yours? It's politics. All fuck, all you fucked her up. You fucked it, fucked it up with her. 
what happens to us and all that we work for you're never going to marry me all right god knows i've tried we put her there without us our enemies our army she's nothing shows it to us gregory she knows it who's that does it matter what i'm wearing does she da- care down what i'm reaching uh, what, I, what i'm reaching i think does she do it love anything apart from power she loves a lot of things you make to think a lot of men she's a very clever and a well-read woman sir you know she came here when she was 15 taught herself russian by sleeping a lot of russian men they do that do for service i'm sure where is she through the olives probably murdering my fathers made them close they kicked they kicked him off the throne then she became the empress then they kill him if on our orders probably now she's terrified they'll kill her unless she's very great so perfectly grateful you know, we do not know that everyone killed we do not know that ever that anyone killed your father your highness no it's an official explanation you probably drafted it i prefer a good colic but isn't that what it is terminal piles oh my god i hate her you do not hate her she's your mother you hate her love her although sometimes of course you hate her but it's only natural one day you'll succeed her and the one who will rule her last forever one day soon how soon, Mother, Your Majesty? Is that suitable for your ceremony? Of a ceremony, Pelin? Is not to your taste, Catherine? He's about to become a man, Paul. It's not if you let me, Mother. Not, but not to tell Ted Stewart. Tuts, look, I want you to want you to be something whom I can proud and you say uh, uh, uh. that one, ringing, breathing heavily, groans, petting, groans, both at sale, giggling. Oh God, cries. It's not me you're interested in. Penny, I thought you expressed a great deal of interest. Chuckle says, Oh, my Lord, I miss it again. Both laugh. So who she is the one you want. You're clever. She likes clever men. Madam, I tell you, you bring no great report. All I have is a literal, liberal education and, great, and a great fucking interest. Chuckles. And she is the Empress of Russia, precisely. She is the one you want. Yes, but the higher one climbs, the more visible one's are. So that you could come, that could come to be, to my advantage, you're told. Ah, both laugh. I have good reason for wanting you to go to this dinner. Make a good impression. The more she likes me, the better for you, yes. Where do I come into all this? You come in, breathe heavily. Right there, here. Bell will tell the deceit chatter. Why is my son so attractive? It may be something to do with his father, P- Emperor Peter, was the ugliest man east of Berlin. Catherine, yes, and now Paul must have been for her too. A moment he was born, my mother-in-law took him away from me. She left me on the floor, bathed in my own blood and sweat. From that point on, I really sighed. Oh, I never saw him. I left the tenant pub again. We are really smart, very smart. Are you trying to impress? Is something troubling your majesty? Catherine, that's Lieutenant Mogovic. What's he doing here? Do you know him? Put him in. He's a, yes, he's a drinker gambler. He owes money everywhere. Tell you he's in a hurry to leave. The iron may be dangerous. You think that they, they put you in power, your majesty? They always think they they can, they can, they always think they can take it away. Are you implying your majesty soldiers are disloyal? Lieutenant, saying anyone can be manipulated. Does the man know your son? Oh, Mulder, well, sorry, Lieutenant. Is this any concern of yours? What was Lieutenant Lovitz doing here? In the sink chatter, praying, I assume, Your Majesty. I really do not know. Would you tell my son I wish to speak with him? I was telling me. Well, Lieutenant, you must pray too. Pernamit again. Yes, we must, sir. We should keep your eye on Lieutenant Pernamitkin. Be dangerous, Lieutenant Ennis Escherus. A son of nothing of himself. In which we seem his father do, when we came to man's estate, we listen to the wisdom of our fathers and claim that ours is by right a prosperous and fruitful life, health, health, and salvation. In all the best give you, Lord, to a servant Paul. I keep you him for many years, singing Moglegger and Leithif. Moglegger and rich. We wait here for not tonight come. Check your weapons. At sixteen, when you marry me, married me to your father i don't know what men and women were were so different under their clothes you understand what i mean i brought myself 
up so I'm afraid I think that maturity is in the decision that we make is it oh two I'm always in the, everyone each other's company are you hatching some conspiracy stammered chuckles we are not we are not not no oh not 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 what huh I think our conversations may have touched the fact that certain stages some thought but when Paul reached his majority perhaps he might uh, yes might might what Many people envisage your majesty that you will act as regent till Paul maintains his majority, after which he might, uh, what, take over? Take more responsibility, your majesty? So many people want the Russian throne. They die trying to get it, and sometimes they die trying to hand it to them, onto it. Hang, hand on, trying to hand on to it. People always tell lies about what you, what you are, Peter Paul. But remember, you are the son of Peter II. An heir to be the Roman, the Roman throne, the Russian throne. One day you forget that. Now you reach your majority. I think you should get married. Him, married chuckles. Yes, mother. Ah, uh, why didn't you run along and think about the beautiful women he's seen speaking with the army? Have you, how much does he know about what going on at Stalingrad? Nothing. I swear, Your Majesty. Never talk about the successor session of what all about Paris. Yeah. Oh, do you understand me? Yes, Your Majesty. I want your responsibility. I want your responsibility for the boy. That's all, Your Majesty. I've always been loyal to you ever since we put his father from the front, put his father from the throne. Always loyal. I want you to find out everything's going on at Strasbourg. I want to know about this murder, Rich. I've got a good ploy to foster my son's illusions about himself, but to protect me from those who wish me harm. There are many. Instinct chatter, quiet. Instinct chatter, Catherine. Ah. Oh. So to my son, his birthday, expectation of wisdom chuckles to Paul, or Paul, to Catherine chuckles. Now you may have noticed there, an empty chair, I've invited one of the brightest and best of our young men, and he's late to Cambridge. Ah, oh, Bonapit, Lieutenant Pugin, at last. Pugin, I'm so sorry to be late, Your Majesty. Catherine, very well, you look well, you look quite ravishing, coming from the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, that is indeed a compliment. Catherine, no, no, no. Before you sit down, so everyone has to say something amusing. We hear what you want, that you are very amusing, Publican. But shall we say in such a lustrous company to raise a laugh? When I took when I first came to the country a long, long time ago, I knew nothing about it. I fell in love with its people and its pair of passions of a soul and indomitable Russian spirit. And yet the country must this country must change. Slavery is not a Russian institution. I mean then can real Russia, my Russia, our Russia can become truly eternally great. Men grunting was heartily. Yes, laughing very good. The history of women, your majesty, is the history of the worst tyranny in the world. That of the weak over the strong. Look, but in the end they turn to the strong had the last word, don't they? Then men those men rule the world. I beg your pardon, Mike Rodolf. I believe all this here in Russia us in here in Russia are governed by a woman. Gunshot, men yelling, chains chattering. Avon grass, swords clanking, men yelling. No one is my table to punish for making jokes. I only cries of stupidity, knowing things, and yawning, guests laughing, whispers Gregory. He's fucking with you, so he is. You know who he is, free him, swords crackling. Ava bleeding secretly, chains clatter, vasily. Shh, every easy does it, Michael Elkovich. Free him, free him, orders are all, orders, Lieutenant. Migrich, oh no, England whimpers. Swords clatters on floor, a milk rich. He was even the, the sixth, right for all over Russia. This of us. My orders are for the main press for Catherine. Megovich. Catherine, the main serpent? Sniffs. Who like this boy? What on earth is that supposed to mean? Oh, it screams. Coughs. You made it fairly obvious. Look, I can talk to whoever I choose, whatever manners I choose. Do you know what I hold, what I hold in my hand? But I hold in my hand absolute power. Do you have any understanding of what that means? Well, it can mean nothing at all. May I remind your majesty, we put you on the phone, and you mind your language very carefully, Gregory. Remember who I am now. Have you forgotten? You do not you do so at your peril. We killed your husband. Now I know who killed my husband. I have it in black and white in your b- body bugger's handwriting. Are you holding are you holding that over my head still? Because you do that you watch and you wait and then you'll move against people 
Everything I do is wrong, isn't it? So I yawn. Sometimes dinner you can be a bit, 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 bit fucking dull. You're running out of friends. Door closes, breathing heavily. Are you thinking about it? That's it. Gherkin. What do you think about Gherkin? Say loudly. Penamikin. What does what does any Russian think about? Does he make love? Cantus Bruce Breeze for nothing. Pentamin. Gherkins, of course. Cantus Breeze. Seriously, stop, stop, seriously. Penamikin grows. It's seriously, Tenant. What do you think about? I never know. Penamikin. I'm thinking about her. Empress, of course. Catherine chuckles. I'm enjoying every any time in a company. The fact she happens to be the most powerful woman in the world is totally incidental. Yes, oh. Looking for Cantus Bruce, your majesty. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I was. But maybe it's best moaning, not disturb her. Cantus Bruce, here, there. And yes, of course, you like that sort of thing. I'm a married woman, your majesty. I have nothing to do with what you would tell her. That she and a tenant are looking invited to pay cards tomorrow, right? The tenant made a most favourable impression. Made, yes, your majesty. Countess... Bruce Mask, Penelkin stuttering. Prentice Bruce shakes and laughs, pain. Penelkin, they wanted you to see if they uh, see it had been done. Mercy, violence is disgusting, but size. No one knows where Rich is under guard. He knows that he, was, he knows they are, uh, were under guard to orders, under orders to kill a man. I'm afraid everyone would assume it came from me. Anyone who has a real claim to the throne is danger to me. Even this poor deranged creature, yea, even you, even your son, your majesty, Paul is easily led. There's some scrupulous people in Russia. Fortunately, I'm one of them. So you know, where well, you can offer Mother Rich a last minute pardon on the scaffold. Condition he does not say anything about the death of this gentleman. We, we expect, suggesting I offer him a pardon is obviously important to show firmness. Public execution does that. But I also know that they're inclined to be merciful. No, not always. Ask the girl who does my hair. <laughs> Chuckles lightly. Showing mercy would be popular, Your Majesty. It could be so. I'm inclined to mercy when I'm hit by a can. Hope by now I understand the way you're worrying about, Your Majesty. So do a lot of people. In the chatter. Catherine, put your money down, gentlemen. Bets are on, bets are on. Quickly, moan groans. Oh, you'll lose. It seems that we know everything nowadays. The Archbishop, as someone, as has someone, I found out about your death of prisoner number one. He stopped talking, Catherine. I didn't send away before he does. I think the English had the right idea. In the 16th century, getting rid of the senior clergy, major nobility. At the same time, Catherine, Berta, not only good looking but clever too. I'm lucky to have found you. But for those in power must learn to be criminal. What is what is in my any kingdom but a great piece of highway robbery after all? Saint Augusta Catherine laughs, yes. Laughs, you read as well, chuckles. But you will fight for Majesty, and not you'll not just feed on um, snark remarks. Is it war with the Turks coming any day now, Will? The fight for the Empress to the death, Your Majesty. Well, if may I have a suggestion about this, this Milkovich? No. You may leave us, Chivalry. The rest of you can go, too. I want to speak to Tenor Ponomikin alone. Take music playing. Tell me about Milkovich. Your judgment of him was accurate. He done something very foolish for the men, but I know nothing about that affair. May I I certainly will not write his name in conversation. Catherine laughs. Oh, I like you, Lieutenant. You know, Pennon was had offered me him a pardon. That was the minister's idea, not mine. And why would he do that? Well, the danger is, you see, a man who is about to die may say something he wishes. He may throw around wild exclamations at the scaffold. So, Mister Payne, Mister Minister Payne, led him to believe he is a, to expect the last minute peeve at the scaffold. Catherine, mm, mm, in order to buy his science, I mean, if you pardon him anyway. What, what very good luck, Lieutenant. If Makovich is allowed to live, there will always be a risk, always there to be used for our enemy to challenge your claim to the throne quiet. But I must say, I suspect Mr. Payne's sudden refusal to serve mercy. Truth is, I was running out of people I can trust, Lieutenant. You know, I never pass a sentence of death. I always wanted to be merciful, really, ruler. 
may be a very different dis- difficult decision Kevin that one in the end only you can make but left Paladin the overcoming man well the success that caught the, the, the quickest toe wrote the failure I found I'm told I hear you play bullets at billiards very badly broke off and let us play for money a program that's out of size a thousand do you think it I'll tell you what I'll give it me, me a thousand now and miss I'll give it straight back but it's an additional thousand do you think it you give me five thousand Alex and Gregory laugh are you so why are you, that's so funny you know for the continues is it is it funny is it laughs Pokemon laughs what do you gentlemen take me for well I'm just another ambitious young man came to court to make his money to lie and deceive and flatter his way of power ah they sell hell laughing yes you think I want to shine her the way it's the way the way the rest of you guys shine like rotten wood well there, there you have it you owe me five thousand your men in your world then groans belly of coop scratch on the floor groans coughs boys 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 say he laughs laughing running fun to put him in groans both panting no they fuck off both panting the elixir oh you've done it now you've killed the bastard Gregory he could better off dead groans groans laughs you did you both kill me? Prince Emperor Peter or is just was it you Alexei laughs Olive all right all right get off foul clamoring booing really a lively crowd you must see very suffering yes yes they are our friend isn't showing much concern is he, he isn't I'm glad your majesty has seen him fit to mercy show mercy in his absence instance do they say that was what, what they've done by grace of god we covering the second empress of the elder brat will russia have been covered in a conspiracy putting a limited pretender on our throne no hesitation ordering the supreme penalty for his hideous crime crowd cheering this is a mistake my rich i assured it could be pardoned mistake i assured with pardon so it's murdered in her own spirit. she murdered our true emperor you know what she, oh, you all know she did no no woman you're a traitor the woman screams crowd yelling cramming cloud you're clearing cheering what you would have done i spoke to myself him myself i told him nothing anything never told him anything crowd chanting quill scratching what are you doing is it obvious i'm writing what about ideas about equality they went under the law that's about that's just ideas at the moment it feels like something has changed between us we well, love you but it's another it's all over it's over between us why because you've fallen out of love with me you don't have the courage to say so oh i know all about those girls you screw even if you choose not to comment on it because i still care for you but you still want some want something i cannot give you you want power is that a bruise in your face have you been fighting this fucking thing pushes my tits out too far music playing can't go to ball your majesty's splendid you look your majesty's so nice to see you interesting conversation laugh Hey then, who we do, how, who do you look? The man said, Catherine the Chapels. I think one of you looks like a lesbian. I'm not quite sure which one laughs. Looking for you, poking. Too much rough rouge on this side. And gildment, not quite right. Calls it creaking. I can't let him see me like this. I think your neckline may be too low, but pelican sniffles. I can't, I can't. Like this size, you poor thing, put them in the eyes. You really are in love up with her, aren't you? A woman, auntie, and I'm pregnant. Why? How could that happen? You should get rid of that fool. Whatever you're paying for his jokes is too much. You can have my hand, whatever you need it, auntie. I keep it spare head. I keep. I kept this woman for my last job. Oh, doesn't she like jokes, you handsome bastard? I am Victor Hemmich Mel. The engraver has male dissex. Where is he, Catherine? Mm. I hear you look for a wife, Port Princess Port Prit Paul. I have three attractive daughters, Catherine. Yes, very beautiful. This is my wife, very beautiful. Lieutenant Palumbekin, Alexei. I should have killed him. Music continues. I'm not going to ask. Who did this to you? I know there's not think about revenge yet. Come. Catherine, you know, we do great things together. I don't worry. You'll have your day. You will not go unpunished. You will blossom. Not yet, because the Turks are preparing for war. But you need men like you. Now let's create the new beginnings last. 
I want something Russian. Flat hands, clapping laughs, pumpkin laughs. Music increases pace. <laughs>